seasons, summer is the result of an astronomical fact of life. The Earth is tilted on its axis, 23 and a half degrees. As the planet moves in its yearly orbit, that angle causes the position of the northern hemisphere to change relative to the sun. In the winter, it's tilted away from the sun. In the summer, it angles towards the sun. Because of the planet's tilt, during the summer, sunlight hits the Earth at a more direct angle. So the warming effect of the sunlight is more intense. Plus, the sun is at its highest point in the sky, so there are more hours of sunlight to provide heat. The opposite is true for the southern hemisphere, where the seasons are reversed. When we're angled toward the sun, they're angled away. So while our Australian friends chill out in winter, we're headed for the beach. There is some amazing science behind how that golden strip of sand is created. The sand on most beaches begins not in the ocean, but inland. Over time, weathering by ice, wind, and rain breaks down rock into sediment. Creeks and rivers wash the sediment downstream. Once in the ocean, currents of water called longshore currents that flow parallel to the coast carry those sediments along the shoreline. Waves then push the sand onto shore, forming beaches. Longshore currents can deliver up to a million cubic yards of sediment to a single beach each year. Most waves that deliver sand to our beaches are born thousands of miles away. Ocean waves are created basically by the wind. The wind blows across the surface of the water and it agitates the surface of the water, causing a wave to be formed. The longer the wind blows or the stronger the wind blows, the bigger the waves it's gonna create. Waves are generated by wind, blowing across the surface of the ocean. Energy from the wind is transferred to the wave through friction between the air and water. Wind that blows faster, longer, and further will transfer more energy into the ocean and create bigger waves. Waves sometimes travel across vast expanses of open ocean, in some cases, as far as 10,000 miles. Waves can travel across entire ocean basins, so a very strong storm in the Southwest Pacific will create a swell which could go all the way across the Pacific Ocean and end up impacting Mexico or uh, the west coast of North America.